If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another camp to a video where I go and take a look at one of your guys' camps. Now, today is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. Normally, these videos, or at least recently, have been getting quite long. And we've been doing like lots of tours of lots of shelters and camps all in one video. But today we've got a bit of a shorter one for you. So today is going to be showing off a camp by Hershey Boo over on PC, who's made a basically like a massive pirate ship based on Final Fantasy. Now it's a pretty cool build and I thought it was definitely worth showing off. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. It's not like a or I'll enjoy. I'm speaking past tense. But yeah, it's not like a law friendly build or anything like that, or a modern build or anything like that. It's just like a pretty cool build and which took like a lot of imagination. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed, do me a favour, support the channel, hit that like button for me, and of course guys, if you're new, subscribe, you know, we've just hit 15,000, now we're on our way to 20,000 guys, so let's bloody do it, let's do it. But yeah, thank you for watching, let's jump straight in. Right, okay, today we have Hershey Boo, who has built this huge airship type of thing, and yeah, what, what was the thought process behind it, and what's the idea of it? Uh, so, uh, I've always been a fan of Floating camps, uh, so I uh, already built the UFO before, but uh, I had the thought of the airship from Final Fantasy VI. So I'm not sure if that looks like a balloon, uh -huh. but it's supposed to be a balloon. No, yeah, fair enough. So. It's a cool idea. So I, I've never played Final Fantasy, so. I don't, I, I don't know much about the whole idea of the actual camp itself, type of thing, like what you based it on. Um, but it does look cool having that huge like air balloon above it type of thing. And so uh, I, I placed the wires there uh, in the boat. Oh, All right, yeah, yeah, on the sides. Yeah, and this is actually my first time building this boat. So a friend of mine taught me how to build this one, and yeah. it was really hard for me because ah. of the walls here or the roof. Mm hmm. See, can't you really snap that one? Ah. Is that difficult getting them all like this? Did you find it hard to do? It's very hard. Yeah? For me, because it was my first time. Ah. And how did so, you do all that? Was uh, it the flame for trick to do the balloon? Is that what you did, or was it uh, blueprint? It, it was about uh, a combination of the flamethrower and switching the roof to that one. Ah. Ah, very cool. So, I, I kind of regret not floating this one, but so, but I already did the balloon uh, first, so... Alright, so you started with the balloon and then built the ship underneath it? Yeah. Ah, right, okay. I like what you did so, with this, by the way, with the, the glass uh, roof here, so you can like see inside of the ship and stuff. Uh, I, I got the idea from one of the YouTubers, uh, I forgot the name, but I would like to credit that person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fair enough. No, it looks really cool though, I like it. I like what you did with the, uh, the Scorch Beast Queen on the front as well, <laughs> you put the little uh, lights on the side of it. <laughs> to have like earrings, looks cool. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be a different light, but uh, I couldn't get it. Ah, fair enough. Alright. Alright, let's take a look on the actual ship itself then. I wish I kept my uh, backpack on so I could do that, but <laughs> never mind. I took it off because it was like huge on this power armor. Like the back of it was just massive. So I took it off. Uh, I like your helmet, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I do like the Mr. Fuzzy helmet. I think it's brilliant. All right. So uh, I, I did know that it was this was possible. Uh, okay. A friend just taught me how to do it. That one, and I attached the wires on the side. Huh. Make it huh? look kind of an airship. No, I, I love it when people do that. I don't know what it is, but like when people's got wiring, like every time someone does like a ship like this, like ever since the first time I ever seen someone build a ship. And you look at the wires and like the thought process behind the wires, I always think it just looks really cool. To have like all, <laughs> all the wires like matching and being like symmetrical. Mm -hmm. 
because obviously when you see like a proper ship, the proper ships have like they've got the big I don't know what you call them, but like how you've got the steel ports here, and on ships they'll have the big wooden ones type of thing, and then mm. they've got all the lines coming off them where the flags will be and stuff. I always think it looks really cool. So to see them in like the game and people do it all symmetrically. I just think it's really satisfying to look at. Cool. Is, um, is this meant to be like a telescope? This one. Do you know how you put the conduit through it? Uh, <laughs> I just forgot. The oh, my fingers, kid. You are you forgot to uh, take it out? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it, uh, it's good to be fair. I, I like that being there. <laughs> I, I wanted to place the guard post up above here, but I don't know how. All oh, right. Uh, okay. Seen camps with the guard post up above here. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, it'd be a cool trick. Like, if you could get like conduits going all the way over, it would be like a ladder. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, very cool. You've got a lot of merging and stuff going on around here as well, haven't you? Like, obviously, you've got the, the little stool table. <laughs> yeah. Got that merged into there. Was that How did you do that? Was that all flamethrower? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, nice. Oh, very cool. How did you get the conduits through the steel poles? Um, I just saw it. Um, <laughs> so uh, I first connected the. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what under it that was. But okay. Like this one. Uh huh. So we were able to place it there. Just connect these. All right. So you just placed that up there and then connected them through, and it just went through the steel post. Yeah. Ah, weird. Oh, why? Strange, I wouldn't have thought I'd let you do that, but... Ah, oh, cool. It's a good idea to put the so cage bulb lights above as well. I like that. <laughs> this ah. is where my cabin is. Okay. Uh, it was supposed to be a prison at first, but I realized that I don't have a bed. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I placed the hammock there, so you could sleep up above there. Ah. Oh, cool. It's kind of like a bunk bed hammock type of thing that you would see on a ship. It's a very cool idea. Oh, nice. I like that you've spaced out the workbench as well. Like you've got the chemistry workbench down here, so it's kind of like a kitcheny type of thing going on down there. And then up here, you've got like, uh, was the one behind me? No, they're just there. You've got like the tinkers inside of the cabinet. And then this side, I noticed you did the armor inside the work, the, the weapons workbench. Yeah, <laughs> same space. Yeah. How, hang on, how does it look if you do the weapons one? Because they're not like in line, are they? They're like, there's a bit of a gap between them. Oh, crap, I'm in power armor. Hang on, let's try it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright. Are oh, you on it now? Uh, oh. Ah. Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> they merge through it. <laughs> Alright, okay, nice. I got the, uh, this as well. Did you merge them in? You did, yeah, you merged uh, in the lamp into the plant. Yes. <laughs> ah, cool. I like it. So what was the thought of this type of room up here? What was this type of... Uh, this is supposed to be the office. Alright, okay. Uh, previously it was a storage space, but I'm not really good with uh, leather. I mean, I, I've always wanted a jump can, but I can't really do a clever design. No, it, it is a it is a proper talent to be able to build a proper junky, yeah. scrappy <laughs> camp. Like, it doesn't look hard, but when you actually try and do it and make it look as good as like some of the ones you see, like uh, last week's video, where I showed a Fallout yeah. 4 guys, scrappy, junky build, like, to do that is such a talent because it's so hard. Uh, I saw the trader video. Yeah, yeah, the trader one, that was it. With that the uh, could, scrappy junky uh, build, that was insane. How we done I that. I love that guy. Yeah, it was so good. But it's, it's to try and do that yourself and make it look that junky and scrappy is really is a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, this is my best with the wheels. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea, though, it looks good. Like, it's good because yeah. you, you've hid the bottom of it. Like, I always think the, 
Like that's a perfect thing, the spinning wheel for ships. But the yeah. bottom, because when you see the stand of it, I feel like it always ruins it. So the fact that you've mm -hmm. hidden that inside the shelves, it's a good idea. Uh, I would have added more, but I don't have much. Yeah, completely over, wait, out of budget now. Oh, never mind. It's wiring. Wiring takes up a lot of budget, weirdly, doesn't it? Uh, that, sure. that and the conduits. Ah, oh, but very oh, nice. Yeah. Looks really good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice. That looks really good. But yeah, thank you for showing us and stuff. I like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you so much for visiting the camp. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Hershey Booze Camp. Now, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I thought it was really cool. I really enjoyed visiting and stuff. It's cool to see, like, different builds. I want to keep the showcase uh, or kind of series where I come and visit either crazy camps with crazy ideas, where it was kind of like we had Project Cog with, like, what was it, 900% over budget or something crazy like that. And then today we've got, like, this crazy kind of pirate ship that has an air balloon on top of it. Or we see like really cool, law friendly ones like last week's video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. That was Fallout 4 guy who did a really cool, law friendly trader shop type of thing. And there's just loads of stuff like Uranium Fevers. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, you've got to check him out because he does some awesome machinimas. Uh, we've checked out a few of his camps and they're always absolutely awesome. I'm actually in talks to go visit another camp that's just been featured in one of, uh, well, his recent uh, machinima that he's done. So that's going to be awesome. They look brilliant in the video, so I'm excited to see that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this series. I enjoy doing it. It's really easy to do and it's really fun to do because I really enjoy coming to see your guys' camps. I do it off stream and the fact that like off stream and not recording I do these things and it's like, I don't know, it's just something I really enjoy doing. Like coming to see your guys' camps. I have done for ages and the fact that I can make videos of literally just me waffling on where whoever's camp it is and you guys enjoy watching that too is... Unbelievable. So yeah, thank you for enjoying it and stuff. And yeah, by the way, look at this. I got a new thing. We're turning this into a vlog now, guys. This is like a, a vlog thing. So if you didn't know, Ratty Star has changed his channel. And now, we're well, not changed his channel, but he started a new channel because he kind of didn't want to do Fallout content anymore. And now he's doing Lego content. And now, I've bought some Lego. <laughs> I might buy some more Lego, the Batman one's on sale. But yeah, look at this. I built this cool thing. This is Boba Fett out of Star Wars. And I built this, and it was actually really fun. This thing moves. Look at this. Watch this break it on camera now. But yeah, look at that. I think this looks awesome. Like, I had loads of fun. Like I never actually switch off from YouTube and stuff. I'm always doing something. I'm always either thinking of YouTube or I'm doing something to do with YouTube. And when I was building this, I had like three four hours of that day of building this and i just took it as a day off i was really burnt out it was last week when i was like didn't have a day off in god knows how long and it just took like a few hours and it just took my mind off everything and it was so relaxing so yeah check out right star if you enjoy lego and stuff so yeah it's called one brick at a time i'll put probably link in the description but yeah look how cool this thing is this is awesome so yeah i never thought i'd buy lego <laughs> but yeah catch you later guys bye bye Thanks.